Jose Alvaro Balvin, or as he's more well known, J Balvin, is a Colombian born reggaeton superstar, sometimes called the Prince of Reggaeton. Balvin is one of the best selling Latin music artists of all time, with sales that boggle the mind at more than 35 million records sold across the world. At the age of 17, Balvin moved to the US to learn English while living in Oklahoma and then New York City. He later returned home to Colombia, where he gained popularity while performing at clubs across the city of Medellin. This five time Billboard Latin Music Award winner and four time Latin and Grammy Award winner has made a big name for himself in the world of fashion and style as he has a musician. Balvin has even gone so far as to call fashion his life's passion on the same level as music. And he's appeared as an ambassador during the 2017 New York Fashion Week. But J Balvin knows full well that drip doesn't stop at the clothes you wear. As someone always looking to put his best foot forward, he likes to show off every time he steps out the door, and that includes making sure he's always seen cruising around town in some of the nicest and fastest rides in the world, like a Ferrari 812 Superfast. As nice as that Ferrari is, it's not the only speedster that Balvin has in his garage. In fact, he's an absolutely massive fan of superbikes and probably has more of those than he does any other type of vehicle. And then there's the crown jewel in his collection, a vehicle so big he won't even be able to park it anywhere but a landing strip. That's that's right, J Balvin has his very own private jet, and if his Instagram is anything to go by, he uses that baby more than any other mode of transportation. Wow, what a collection of vehicles. And that's just a taste. When you take into consideration that Balvin's family went bankrupt when he was still young, losing both their home and car, it makes sense that when given the opportunity, Balvin is making up for lost time. What's going on guys, it's your boy Marlon Palmer, here for you with a brand new car tour. This one, taking a look at the whips, bikes, and one gigantically awesome plane of J Balvin. This amazingly talented singer has got himself a net worth in the 16 million dollar range and besides having a jaw-dropping home I got nothing to hide. Valvin spends a lot of his hard-earned cash on cars that reflect his personality. Today I'm going to show you a handful of his nicest vehicles and cap it all off with a look at his amazing private jet which he uses to travel to concerts all over the world. If you enjoyed this video please be sure to check out our other recent car tours we've done on the likes of Travis Scott, Drake, we got one on Lil Uzi. Follow me on Instagram and uh, that dude McFly. Let me know what you guys think. Let's get into this video. Let's start things off by taking a look at Balvin's stunning Mercedes-Benz AMG G63. This is Mercedes' exclusive SUV model that's equipped with a 5.5 liter twin turbo V8 displacement engine built by their artisan engineers across the oceans in Germany. If you've ever wanted an SUV that can do it all, this is the one. But expect a steep price for this baby. It starts at $150,000, and that's for the bare bones model. While it's unclear how many additional features Balvin had added to this whip, he did get some super nice Forgiato wheels installed which no doubt jacked that price up a considerable sum. Take a look at Balvin's car in action and see for yourself how nice it looks moving around on those snazzy wheels. Despite the G63 being one of the heaviest SUVs on the market, it can still hit 60 miles per hour in less than four seconds. So that should give you an idea of just how powerful it is. But speaking about power, how about we take a look at Balvin's next car? the Ferrari 812 Superfast. No musician's car collection would be complete without a Ferrari or two, and in Balvin's case, he's got both a classic model as well as one of the nicest and most recent iterations of this world-famous speedster. Here's a look at his 812 Superfast. Balvin got this gorgeous vehicle painted and detailed to match his Mercedes G63 and situated next to one another like that, they really pop. But as nice and powerful as the Mercedes is, the 812 Superfast is so much more. This beast retails for around $350,000 and features a 6.5 liter V12 engine capable of producing 800 horsepower and reaching a top speed of 211 miles per hour. It's definitely the fastest car that Balvin owns and if this cliff is anything to go by, he loves driving it around. <laughs> Next up is Balvin's Ferrari Testarossa, one of his most prized vehicles. This classic is from back in the day and was produced between the years of 1984 and 1996. So it doesn't have all the features or power of Balvin's other Ferrari, but that doesn't mean he loves it any less. In fact, he always keeps it close by, parked at home in his garage, right next to two of the most important things in his life, his dogs. The classic Testarossa, which is one of the most emblematics from Ferrari. And my two babies are the most important ones. Look, my dogs. 
Bavin loves his car so much that he's even used it in some of his music videos, standing on top of the roof and performing his heart out. Let's just hope he didn't scratch anything up. Not that he couldn't afford the repairs. Another vehicle that Balvin has been photographed in is the Rolls Royce Coolinet. And really, what better personifies the luxurious lifestyle of the rich and famous than a car that looks like this? The base price for this car is around $330,000 and features options like rear seat massage functions and a central cooling bin with two champagne flutes and a whiskey decanter. This thing is basically a rolling wet bar. No wonder Balvin likes to call on this vehicle whenever he's got a party or event to go to. From the lap of luxury, let's jump to Balvin's most rugged and perhaps often used vehicle, the Land Rover Defender. Along with his Testarossa, Balvin keeps the beauty close to him at all times. In fact, he recently got this whip a brand new white paint job to match his Ferrari and Mercedes. And his car is recognizable enough in Medellin that his fans often spot him driving around town and drop in for a quick hello. The base price for one of these is somewhere around the $50,000 mark, but depending on the model, it can climb as high as $80,000. The design of this vehicle might come off a little bit retro, but few SUVs on the market are more powerful or more in demand. In terms of landlocked vehicles, super bikes are by far Balvin's transportation of choice. I mean, just take a look at his Instagram. It's damn near a shrine to a ton of motorcycles. For instance, here's Balvin standing in front of his brand new Ducati Superleggera, which features 234 horsepower and full racing exhaust. Here's another series of images of Balvin sitting on top of a stunning Diavel, which has over 157 horsepower, 95 pounds per feet or torque, and a starting price of around $15,000. And honestly, guys, that's just a taste of Balvin's bike collection. He's got a ton more where that came from. For Enduro, for Rai, super bikes. Finally, before we head out of here, we're gonna take a look at the crown jewel in J Balvin's collection, his private jet. Reportedly a Dassault Falcon 2000. Much like this with his Ducati collection, Balvin's Instagram is chock full of picture after picture of him traveling around the world in his gigantic private jet. As nice as this plane is, when you spend as much time flying around the world as Balvin does, sometimes things happen, whether it's flight controls freaking out prior to takeoff. Oíste, Juan, vamos por tierra, okay, homie? Huh? Or getting into an actual crash while taking off from the runway. Oh my God. Balvin has had some close calls while flying, but he's never afraid to hop back into the skies. And if this next video is anything to go by, he's either already upgraded his plane to a brand new model or is deeply considering it. That might be one of the craziest sights I've ever seen. It's like sailing on the sky. If he can afford it, Balvin should definitely throw down for that model next. All right, guys, I think we'll bring this video to an end here. What did you guys think about his car collection? Are you a bigger fan of his whips, bikes, or plane? As much as I'd love to get my hands on an 812 super fast, I can't get the views from that last plane out of my mind. Flying around in one of those is definitely gonna be on my bucket list and I'm super jealous that Jay Balvin can already cross it off his own. But when you're as talented as he is, life is your oyster. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at thatdubitfly and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.